Do you feel like you're doing all the right stuff, but you're still gaining weight? Pay attention to this. Our next caller is Bailey from Minnesota. Hey, Bailey, how can we help you? Hey, guys. Um, so, like everybody else, since <laughs> you've been doing these live Q&As, I just want to thank you guys. Um, there's actually a huge overlap business-wise between what you guys talk about and the work that I do as a musician. Um, so that's been really cool as I've been ramping up um, my my own business and, and career and all of that. So cool. I really appreciate that aspect of things. Um, and then I have a question about body recomp and um, hormone levels and and what's a realistic and smart expectation of that. Um, if you guys want me to go into like the background, I, um, I can. I don't know how much you guys remember from my original submission. Yeah, well, yeah, I we're see actually, it here. Yeah, but we're I, looking at it right yeah. now. Yeah, but I'd like for you to go over it so people can kind of understand what's uh, where your question is coming from. Sure, 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 sure. So I, um, I am in my late twenties, and I have been lifting consistently for um, about five years. I started off with CrossFit, um, and then I realized the error of my ways, <laughs> and I went in more of a powerlifting direction. Um, but when I started CrossFit, I, um, I gained a ton of weight in a relatively short amount of time while cutting my calories and exercising like six times a week. Um, and wait, you said it, you gained a couple, a bunch of weight yeah, or you explain, lost a bunch of weight. I, I gained a bunch of weight. So you cut um, your calories and worked out like crazy and gained weight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and so I, I do have, um, a little bit of like disordered eating in, in my background as well. Um, before I had started working out, I had just significantly, significantly cut down my, my calories and, um, I am not in that place anymore. I've like full transparency, like been going to therapy and all of that to address those issues. And that's been really helpful. Um, but I had a bunch of doctors um, tell me things like my weight gain was because of my my weightlifting and my strength training, um, and they refused to test hormones. They refused to test my thyroid, all of that stuff. Um, so I had to like go through a lot of doctors, and I finally found one that was willing to run those tests, and it came back that. Um, my testosterone is like through the floor, um, and my progesterone and estrogen are also on the low side. So I'm just wondering moving forward, since I am eating to fuel my workouts, um, and I am higher protein and all of that, um, I'm just wondering what a realistic expectation as far as that recomp goes okay, so, and how to approach that in a, in a smart way. Okay. So let's back up for a second. Okay. Cause let's talk about her broken food yep. skill. Yeah. First. Yeah. I know. For, okay. So I want to go back to what you said earlier, cause I want to get this straight here. Correct. We'll try maybe even figure this out. Yeah. You dramatically increased your activity and dramatically cut your calories and gained weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So were you tracking calories? How did you know that they, the calories changed that dramatically? How much weight did you gain? And was it water, water weight, yeah. blow? Like what, what, what happened about? here? It, it So I, I was tracking my calories when I was like in a really disordered place with my eating. And that was as few as like between 900 and 11 calories a day. Okay. And then when I started working out and doing that more consistently. Um, I did get hungrier and I increased those calories to 1400 to 1600. And it, like, despite eating within like a, um, like a whole 30 parameter. So still not super great with, <laughs> with like that food relationship. Um, but despite that I gained like 60 pounds. So, Whoa. so you gained 60 yeah. pounds from going from 900 to 1100 calories to 1500 calories plus resistance yeah. training. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and was this a healthy 60 pounds? Do you feel or do you? No. Okay. Mm. Okay. No, I think some of it was needed. I think some of it is muscle. Um, but like my body comp right now, I am like around 35% body fat. 
Okay. Which does not reflect my habits. Okay. And then are you on, hor now you're on hormone therapy? Are they, they supplementing your hormones to bring things back up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, and do you mind if I ask what you're taking? Is it testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen or just testosterone? It's, so my functional medicine practitioner is going through more of a holistic protocol before we go through like the, um, through like the, the injection route and, and all of that. Um, so she has me on some more natural supplements and is adjust and is addressing some, um, like vitamin deficiencies that I have. Okay. So you're not, you're not taking any hormones is what you're saying right now. Mm -mm. Okay. Are you in our, are you in our mind pump horm hormones group yet? No. <laughs> okay. That's free. So while we're talking, get your ass in there. That's yeah. The first, just, yeah. Really yep. good experts on hormones in there. Okay. So what it sounds like your functional medicine practitioner is trying to do is get you healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And nutrient deficiencies, overtraining, um, you know, disordered eating can cause a lot of hormonal issues and weird things to happen in the body. Um, and what might have happened with that weight gain was you starved yourself so much that your body was ready to absorb and suck in and store any additional calorie it probably could when you finally started to feed yourself. Uh, a little mm -hmm. bit more. So that's probably what happened. What? Okay. So your question is about testosterone. Okay. If you, if your testosterone levels are up and uh, nothing else changes, you can expect to gain muscle and burn body fat. That's a recomp, okay. uh, recomp effect that happens from testosterone. It's well-documented, but in the studies where that happens, it's supplemental testosterone. Okay. So it's like nothing changes. You give someone testosterone, either through injection or cream or pellet, and then you see muscle gain and fat loss. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm trying to be clear with that is because if you raise testosterone naturally, many of the effects that you'll see will come from the things that you're doing to raise the testosterone, and then the t testosterone goes up. So the difference between raising testosterone naturally and taking exogenous testosterone is with exogenous testosterone, your testosterone is high no matter what. With natural testosterone, you got to change a lot of things in your lifestyle to make that go up. And the things that you change in your lifestyle often result in what you're looking for, which is more muscle, more strength, less body fat, and feeling better. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I honestly, when my hormone levels came back to my, my doctor, she was kind of surprised that I am as strong as, as I am. Mm. <laughs> um, so I just, I don't want to put my body back in, Good. in a place where I'm just like beating a dead horse. Bailey, Bailey, besides your functional medicine practitioner, are you, uh, and you don't have to answer this if you don't feel comfortable. Are you working with a therapist that specializes in body image issues and disordered eating? Okay, that's yeah. the best investment I think you can yeah. make because uh, in order to do what you need to do for your health, and of course, when you get healthy, and this is important for you to understand, when you improve your health, all the other stuff that you're looking for, right, the leaner body, the more strength, looking a particular way or whatever, that will follow the health. Okay? We, just did so a, we just did a whole single topic episode. We did. It, it'll follow the health. So as you get healthier... The other stuff starts, it trails behind, but it starts to show up as the health improves. And it takes a little longer than the health markers do, but it will follow. And the challenge is going to be being able to do what you need to do and wait that yeah, period of patient, time. patient, patient. And, yeah. and that's why working with a ther the therapist is by far of all the stuff that you're investing in, probably the best investment because uh, I, I, I mean, uh, there's nothing's going to get in your way like yourself. So that's going to be the biggest obstacle for you. Now, as yeah. far as your, your exercise is concerned. Yeah, what's the training look like? Oh, I would be 100% focused on just feeling good. And if you need to focus on a goal, I would make it strength. And not that you can't get disordered with strength. You can get very dysfunctional with strength too. But it's harder to get stronger while also having your health suffer. It, usually, right. and not saying it's not possible, there's plenty of power lifters and bodybuilders out there that do it. But it's, it's harder. If your strength gains are going up consistently, it usually means that your health is better off than it was before. It's, if your health is declining, it's hard to also make strength gains. But like I said, it's still possible. It's just harder. So if you have to focus on anything, 
I would focus on strength. Well, let's dive into that a little bit. What does what your strength training routine look like right now? Like how many days a week are you training? What's the kind of the breakdown look like? Are you still in the kind of strength focus? Are you running like a five by five? Are you following in the MAPS programs? What are we looking like? Yeah. So I like once I left CrossFit, I just started doing MAPS programs. So I'm working my way through again right now through uh, MAPS Red. Um, I did your powerlift program like this summer and competed and like had a bunch of fun with that. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Uh, you're, yeah, you're, yeah you're, you're on, you're on point. Have you done map strong yet? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, you'll love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You'll love map. But where strong. you're at right now is great. I'd like to have you an anabolic. Yeah. So anabolic, seeing the therapist, working with the functional practitioner to try and first naturally balance your hormones out. Get in the Mind Pump Hormones forum so that you can sit there and pick the brain of Dr. Ren and Dr. Todd. They're in there all the time answering questions. They're phenomenal. Um, but I, I, it sounds like you, you're you on the right path right now. I think you just uh, need to be patient. Be patient yeah. and don't try and rush this process. And But it sounds like you... You're listening to good people. You're you're in and you're following the right right type of a routine and, and heading the right direction. Yeah. Are you um do, do you follow a lot of influencers and stuff on on social media? Absolutely not. Okay. Thank you. Good. <laughs> in fact, I would say that's get off. Right I would yeah. say just don't even go on social media at all. That's a, that's such a no. Uh, it sounds toxic like she, place. Sounds like she's doing a lot of the right things. You just you, need to be patient. You're you're doing good. Yeah. yeah. You're on you're on the right track, Bailey. And I appreciate you calling in. And uh, you have access to a lot of our programs. Are you in our Are you in our other private forum, the one that costs money to have access to? No, I'm not. All right. We'll let you in there. I would love for you to give us periodic updates um and it's Absolutely. a great place too to get some feedback because i know it's going to be it's a challenging process Yeah, you won't be alone there's actually plenty of people that are in in a similar boat as you that, that, yes. that are in that forum so we'll let you in there yeah. okay we appreciate you calling that's, thank you that's awesome thank you guys no problem thank you bailey boy that's a that's a uh that's a tough one right um but i think the therapist is going to be her best bet oh man far. she's i mean she's doing all the right things yeah you know, she really is. I mean, she uh, sought that help right away. So that's you know, she she's doing making steps in the right direction. Yeah, you know what this call was for her? She just wants validation. That's yeah. all it is. That's all, everything. I, she's yeah, doing. I think she just wants to make sure. Am I checking all the boxes? And yeah. she literally everything we asked, she said yes to. She's on the right program. She's got a therapist. She's addressing the functional direction first. Yeah. So trying to naturally bring up all her hormone out, balance her hormones out. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I would not tell her to do it. And the other thing is just to be patient because it, this, just, this just folks on getting healthy. Yeah. Step when it, when you, when you, uh, when you hammer those hormones, man, that it could take, and I've seen things flip around. I've seen clients, uh, we change a few things and wham, right away, their body's responding yeah. and change. Then I've seen other people. It takes a long time. It does. So you just gotta, you gotta be patient and, and consistent with it. But beyond being patient, because sometimes when you say be patient, I think that people think, oh, if I'm patient enough then something's going to happen. I'm going to hit this goal. Mm. But the truth is it's, uh, it's just a lifelong journey. And you improve, you continuously improve along the yeah, way. You just keep chipping away at but it. But there is no target. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you're going to hit a, oh my God, I did it. I was patient and now it happened. Because I think if, if people have that mentality, then it's like it could be very, very challenging. It's, a, it's just a, it's a forever process. And once you accept that, understand that, I think it makes uh, staying on that path a lot easier. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.